Hello boys and girls. Today I can use number bonds to 10 to find number bonds to 20. So what do you see here? We've got a stick of 10. So what number bond to 10 does that represent? Well, 0 plus 10 equals 10. What about now? Yep, 1 plus 9 equals 10. What's next? Yep, 2 plus 8 equals 10. Next, 3 plus 7 equals 10. Next, 4 plus 6 equals 10. 5 plus 5 equals 10. 6 plus 4 equals 10. 7 plus 3 equals 10. 8 plus 2 equals 10. 9 plus 1 equals 10. And back to 10 plus 0 equals 10. We've got the number bond here, 1 plus 9 equals 10, haven't we? How does that help us to work out 11 plus 9? Well, we know, don't we, that 11 is made up of 10 and one more. So if we know that 1 plus 9 equals 10, then we know that 11 plus 9 must equal 20 because it's just 10 more. What have we got this time? We've got 7 plus 3 equals 10, don't we? How does knowing 7 plus 3 equals 10 help us to work out 17 plus 3? Well, again, we know, don't we, that 17 is made up of 10 and 7 more. So if we know 7 plus 3 equals 10, 17 plus 3 is just 10 more. So it's 20. Your worksheet today looks a bit like this. If you are working on the sheet, you can just fill in these boxes. And if you're working on paper, just write out each number sentence that you see. So what number bond to 20 do we see represented with these sticks of cubes? Well, we know that it's something plus something equals 20. Now we've got two shaded, so we're gonna put that in here. Now we just need to know what this number is. Something plus two equals 20. Well, first of all, what plus 2 equals 10? Well, it's 8, isn't it? So this must be 8 and 10 more, which is 18 plus 2 equals 20. Another example. Again, how many have we got shaded? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's something plus 5 equals 20. Well, what plus 5 equals 10? 5 plus 5 equals 10, doesn't it? So it must be 10 and 5 more. Plus 5 equals 20, so we know that's 15. Okay, good luck.